our verse today, if you would turn to 1 Corinthians. In chapter 2, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. <laughs> In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, the Apostle Paul is writing here, obviously, to the Corinthians. And, uh, and we'll start in verse 1. He's writing here, he says, And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the, tes the testimony of God, for I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the, of the spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Howbeit, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. And, uh, you know, as Des was saying earlier, you know, the turmoil that the world is in and all the stuff that is happening uh, that you see on TV and stuff like that, you know, I think of it as, that's just the way it, it I, we've been going over in Acts, the stoning of Stephen, and how, how it must have been, and, and, you know, back in the day when they killed the Lord Jesus Christ. So we see that this turmoil, imagine what the turmoil must have been like in that, those days, you know, especially for a, a believer. And, uh, and we can take rest in knowing that um, that God has provided a plan for us, and and the wisdom that we get is not of the world and of men, as Paul says here, but it's the wisdom that God gives us through His Word, and we can we can rest in that. When all everything else is kind of coming apart at the seams, we can rest in understanding that God has a plan and purpose for us, and uh, and I take encouragement from these words here on the page this morning. Let's go ahead and uh, open in a word of prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, as we come to your word again this morning, we pray that uh, as we hear the preaching that we would be, uh, that we would gain understanding and knowledge of, of who you are and how you are working today. We thank you for your words that, that give us that security and they give us that understanding, Lord, that when things are are tumultuous around us that we can have that rest and peace that you provide lord we thank you for the just the uh, the the stability that not only your word gives but that we can give each other through encouragement through the body it's in the name of the lord jesus christ that we pray amen <clears throat> 